Hey guys, it's Joseph here, back again on Joe Stuff, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a quiz game in Scratch. So go ahead and open up just a new new project there. Name it something like Quiz, and you can go ahead and keep the Scratch Cat there. So go head over to the events and drag out a win green flag clicked block. Then go to here down the sensing and grab an ask block and say ask. Let's see here. What's something that we could do? Like, uh, what program is this made in? So it's just going to be like, what program is this made in? And if the answer is scratch, then it's going to say it's correct. So go head over and grab an if block out of there. And then go out to the operators and grab equals. And then go into the sensing and grab the answer block and put it in one side. And in the other side, type scratch. Like that. And, and then you can put inside of there, you can put something that says, say, cor correct. So now when you start, it says, what program is this made in? If you type in anything else, it won't do anything. But if you type in scratch, it says correct. But this is kind of boring, right? There's only one question, and it just doesn't do anything when you type in the wrong answer. So go ahead and drag out the equals block with the things in it, and drag out the say block, and throw away the if then block. Then go into the control and grab an if then else block, and put the stuff back in again, like I show in here. And then in the bottom part of the else part there, then grab a say block and it says wrong. And I'm just going to go ahead and put an exclamation point in there. Okay. So now, if you type in anything else, it says wrong. But if you type in scratch, it says correct. But this isn't this isn't super exciting either. So, now what we're going to do is go so go out and click on the variables and I'm just going to delete both variables that are there or I had two variables there. There, when you open up a new project, there should just be one. Go ahead and click make a variable, and I'm going to go ahead and name it questions answered correctly. Questions answered correctly. And you can go ahead and leave that turned on up in the corner there. And so now what we're going to be doing is making a sort of a string of questions that's going to be put into there. So now go ahead and grab a set variable block and put it in the top of one of I clicked. And so it'll set questions answered correctly to zero. Then down below inside the part that says correct grab a change block and put it in there and change it by one. So if you get the question right, it'll change it by one, but if you get it wrong, it doesn't. So then, now it's just a matter of right click duplicate so you get another b big block of it here and put it underneath. Now you can customize your questions to however you want. We could say is the moon or the earth bigger? And if the answer is earth, then it's going to say correct. Of course, that's a really easy question, but you could put harder ones and however you wanted. And I'm just going to go ahead and make one more. Something really simple, like is grass green or blue? And if answer equals green, then it's going to say it's correct. So now we've made this sort of string here of questions. And if you go up here and click on the green flag, it says, what program is this made in? If you type scratch, it says correct and adds one to the 
questions answered correctly. If you type moon in for moon is the moon or the earth bigger then it'll say wrong and it won't do an answer answer it uh, correctly is the grass green or blue you could say green so you will have got two out of three correct there now we could make now we could even add something else so that it actually says that you got two out of three correct so down at the bottom, then we could, after the questions are asked, you could go to the looks and grab a say block. And it'll say, when you go ahead into the operators and grab a join block, it'll say, so put in one side, you got, and then another join. So you got, and then you'd put the questions answered correctly in one side out of three so you'd put like that except actually you'd probably want to go get another join block and put it in there so slash three to make it so it would be like you got questions answered correctly out of three and correct so now it should say how many you got so if we type in so if we type in a uh, Java instead of scratch, then it'll say wrong. And they'll say is the moon or the earth bigger and we type in Earth. It says correct. And is grass green or blue? Green. It then it'll say correct. And it'll say you got two out of three correct. So two slash three would mean two out of three, of course. So I hope this showed you kind of how to make a little bit of a simple quiz game in Scratch if you needed help. And go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more stuff like this. See you later.